Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to burn a video to a CD or DVD. Now for this process you're going to need a blank CD or DVD and a program called IMG Burn. There are many programs that you can use for this process but this is one of my favourites. So to begin, go to this website, I'll put the download link in the description box below and then click the download now link just here. Wait for the download to begin and then click the save button. It's 5.3 megabytes in size so it shouldn't take too long to download. Once it's finished downloading, click it to run the file and then click run if any security warnings appear. Then click next in this setup window. Put a tick in the checkbox to accept the agreement and then click next. The full installation should be fine which is set by default. Click next. Once again the default location is fine unless you'd like to change that. Next. Next. And wait for the program to be installed. When this notification appears, you can optionally choose for IMG Burn to periodically check for updates to its program. I'm going to click yes for this but you haven't got to. Once it's finished installing, their official website will appear here. You can simply close that and then go to your taskbar and open the setup window again. You can then click the finish button. As you can see the program has now loaded. So the first thing to do once IMG Burn has loaded up is to click write files slash folders to disk. Go up to the main menu at the top here, click mode and make sure that the tick is placed beside build and then go to output and make sure the tick is placed beside device. So just check that those two things are in place before we begin. Next click this small button here which is browse for a folder and then make sure that all of the videos that you want to put on this disk are placed in one folder and you can do this very easily in Windows. So what I've done, I've made a folder called video to burn to CD and in that I have two videos which you can't see because they're not the files that it's looking for, it's looking for a folder rather than a file. But I've got two videos in there so I'm going to select that folder and then if you have more than one CD drive make sure that's the one selected here and at this point you can place your blank CD into your CD drive so I've just done that now then click this calculator button just here to check that there's enough space on the CD that you've put in if a dialog similar to this one appears you can simply click yes once the blue bar stops moving you then know that it's finished calculating you can check that the number of files is correct that it has included all of the video files that you want in that folder as we can see the total file size is that number some 48 million bytes and the free space is much more than that and we can see it's taking up 7% so we now know that we have enough space on our media once you've done that the device tab and the options tab can almost always be kept the same so I wouldn't go messing about with that, that can stay at default however the labels tab you can give the volume a name so your CD has a name for the purposes of this video I'm going to call it burning test and then hit the button just beside it here which will copy that into the other field and the advanced tab will almost always stay the same as well so go back to the information tab we're now ready to burn the videos onto the CD to do that simply click this big button here you may get a message like this if you're using a rewritable disk like myself, you can simply click yes. We'll then begin to erase and then burn the video files onto the disk. As you can see the percentage is displayed in the bottom left. Once again click yes to any notifications like this one. You'll get a notification like this and you can then click ok. It will then begin to burn your files onto the disk. The length of this process will depend upon the size of the video files that you're burning. If you're using a laptop for this particular process like I am this time, you may get a message like this. So close the disk tray and you can then click the OK button to continue. 
when the operation is completed, you'll get a nice tune to let you know that that's happened, and it will then say operation successfully completed. You can then click OK, and you can take out your CD from your CD drive. Now, just to show that that's worked, go to my computer. As you can see, the blank CD has now got 0 bytes free of 46.4 megabytes. I'll just open that, and there are our two video files, which can be played straight from the CD.